The people who are not getting vaccines, who are believing the lies on the internet instead of science, it's time to start shaming them. What else? Or leave them behind. Because they are keeping the majority of Americans behind. Don Lemon. Wow. Shaming the unvaccinated and leaving them behind. That's one approach. My next guest has a different approach. He's taking on the Biden's vaccine mandates through the legal system. Attorney General from Arizona, Mark Brinovich, joins me now with more. All right, uh, Attorney General. Now, I understand that uh, that you have brought a lawsuit and you are trying to stop what Biden is doing. Tell me what constitutional grounds you're arguing. Uh, thank you, Judge, for having me on. And it's as simple as this. You know that the Constitution is the supreme law of the land. And nowhere in our Constitution does any person, including the President of the United States, have the authority or the ability to have you or anyone else inject anything into your body. Um, quite frankly, if we allow the President to get away with this, that means there is no nothing any future President, including this President, couldn't make us do. And so this is not only unconstitutional, Quite frankly, I think it's immoral. And whether you're left, right, or wherever you're out of the spectrum, you have to understand that what he is doing is a radical attempt to consolidate power um, in one person, something that not even King George or Uncle Joe Stalin would have dreamed of doing. Well, you know, it, it's clear what he's doing, but at the same time, the government has certain powers when there's a pandemic. And that 1905 case, uh, what is it, Jacobson versus Jacobson. Massachusetts, did, did they allow the states to do it versus the federal government? Is there a difference there? Absolutely, Judge. The states created the federal government. The federal government didn't create the states. And clearly, you know, Madison and the framers of our Constitution understood that the states would zealously guard their police powers. You know, when it came to public health, safety and welfare, those were decisions that are supposed to be left at the local level because we know that what happens in or how something works in Manhattan, New York, may be entirely different than Manhattan Beach, California or Manhattan, Kansas. Right. And so we under, they understood that. And Jacobson literally dealt with the power of a state under its police authority and the federal government only has the rights and new powers the powers enumerated to it in the constitution the 10th amendment clearly preserves those powers right. to the states and the ninth amendment preserves it with the people who's so you this case is is you've already sued okay when yes, do you think you'll get some decision on this well, you know, the federal government, the Biden administration will have to respond, but I think it's so important right. to do everything we can. This judge will be the first first lawsuit of many to come because this is an all hands on deck situation. We literally need 50 checks on Joseph Biden. And that means every state needs to protect its integrity, its sovereignty and protect its citizens against something that is a radical power grab. You know, the left is already trying to nationalize our elections. They're trying to socialize our economy. They're all these bills oh, and taxes going on and it's now crazy. they're trying to take control of every single person's life and it's it's really um something that you know the communists used to dream about doing well you know and when when don lemon talks about you know just leaving behind i mean sounds like joe biden's philosophy you know if you leave 10 percent of the americans behind in afghanistan okay well that's the way it is there's so much hate it seems coming from the left that it that it's frightening anyway mark brinovich thanks so much for joining us this evening and good you, luck Josh. with the lawsuit we want to follow it